Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know the drill with that. So it has been a while since I uploaded. So I want to get on here and film a video for you guys that I've been thinking about a lot recently. So I'm going to be talking about an indie brand called Touch of Glam Beauty. And if you guys are interested in kind of learning more about them, then just keep watching. All right guys, so I'm so excited for today's video. I've been wanting to do this now for a while. Um, I recently made a purchase through Touch of Glam Beauty and I've been trying out um, some of their eyeshadows and highlighters, which I believe is the only products they sell. They sell um, powder highlighters, liquid highlighters, and they also have like metallic kind of like foiled shadows as well, just like these single shadows, or you can buy bundles. Now, Touch of Glam is an indie brand. So indie brand basically just means that it's an independently owned brand. It's owned by a woman named Amy, and it is located, I believe, in LA. If I'm incorrect about that, and Amy, you watch this, then let me know in the comments, but I believe it is an LA-based brand. Now, all of their products are available through Etsy, so through an Etsy shop. If you aren't familiar with Etsy, basically, it's just like an online kind of marketplace that has various shops, not just makeup. It could be clothing. Um, it could be like giftware, pillows, like you name it. Etsy, you can definitely find it on there. So this specific shop, Touch of Glam Beauty, I will link the actual link to shop from them down below. So if you guys want to check them out, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I do really like the products, so I just wanted to come on and kind of do some swatches for you guys, tell you a little bit about my thoughts on them. Um, I will also link, if you actually want to see some more swatches and you want to see more of what the brand has to offer, I would highly recommend checking out their Instagram. Um, I'll link their Instagram down below, but it's just at Touch of Glam Beauty. They post all kinds of videos, all kinds of pictures. You can really get an idea um, of their products and kind of what they look like swatched. But yeah, guys, I think it's going to be a really fun video. I think that's all like the major info I have to give for you. But I'm going to go ahead and get into some swatches for you guys so you can kind of see what they look like. And I'll tell you a little bit more about my thoughts on them. All right, guys, so these are the shades that I have. So I do have other stuff in the palette. Um, so I have it kind of blocked off. It's just a Z palette that I pop these into. They are magnetic, so you can put them into like any magnetic palette that you have. So the bigger pan down here is actually um, a highlighter. It's called Pearl Meets Glow. I believe this is like the second pan size up. You can order different pan sizes from the brand depending on how big you want it, which is kind of cool. So very customizable. And then I do have seven chrome shades and then I have a foil shade up here. They're a little bit different in texture, but both are very high shine, which I really like. So I really love the formula on these. I do have the names on the back, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch a few of these for you guys. Um, I will say this one down here, the highlighter in the bigger pan. This one is beautiful. It is called Pearl Meets Glow. I wear it all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see that. But I definitely wear this a lot. I think it just looks amazing. I think it could work on lighter or medium skin tones. It definitely has that kind of... It definitely is like kind of like that white but still gold undertone. So it's really beautiful. Um, and I'm wearing this one actually today. I've been wearing it all day long. I may put a little bit more on just to demo it for you guys. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some swatches. I think first I will swatch this foil shade up here, which is called Firecracker. So I'll go ahead and I'm actually just going to rub a little bit of that on my finger. So there it is right there. So you guys can kind of see it does, it is a little bit on the chunky side but it feels super smooth, almost kind of like a wet feeling, which I like in my shadows. Um, you can use this with a brush or with your finger. I will say with a finger, obviously, with any metallic shadow, you get like the biggest payoff or even a wet brush. So I'll go ahead and just swatch that one. I'm gonna try to do it over here in my hand. So we get a really nice swatch of that one on there. Okay, so that is that shade, and that one is called, look how metallicized that is. So that one is called Firecracker, and that's part of their foiled shadow collection. And then the next one I'm going to go in with is called Island Breeze. This is part of their chrome collection. The chrome ones kind of have like, almost like, like a honeycomb. I don't know if it's honeycomb, but kind of like a little bit different texture than the foils. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I will take a swatch of that one. And I'm gonna put that right beside it. This one is beautiful. So that is that shade, and that one is Island Breeze. Really beautiful as well. It's kind of like blue with like a little bit of shift, I think, of like gold and silver. This is really stunning. The next shade is like one of my favorite shades. This one is called Dragon's Breath. So that is the shade there. You can probably see it a little bit better. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty, pretty shade. So we'll go ahead and take a little bit of a swatch there. I'm gonna put that one down. This one is like, oh, it's kind of like a reddish pink tone. I just really love this. I wore this all over my lid the other day and like, look how stunning that is. And these go on so smoothly on the lid. Like I said, they are a little bit chunky when you first like feel them, but they have that kind of wet feeling and they apply so beautifully. I don't find you like really need like to have anything down to the lid to make these stay either. Like you don't need any type of like a primer, they will stay down. But I usually will use like a concealer or something just to make them a little bit more vibrant, but I don't feel like you need it. Like they look beautiful on their own and there's like very minimal fallout with these. And then another shade that I have is Reawaken. So this is the shade right here. This one is so beautiful. Like this is almost kind of like how would I describe this one? It kind of has like a little bit of like a champagne pinky tone to it. It's just, it's such a stunning shade. I know I'm saying that about all of them, but look at that one there. Look at that. Such a beautiful shade. I'm gonna pull this arm up a little bit. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is called Merlin's Wand. And this is kind of like a shifty shade. So it has like a little bit of purple and it has kind of like a little bit of I like gold almost, I wanna to say to it. Let me take a little swatch of that. Oh, this one is just, it's so pretty. I do feel like this one's a little bit more on the chunky side, but still beautiful. So it has kind of like more of like, I would say this one has more of a silver fleck actually to it, but that is it right there. And it's kind of like a purpley lavender tone as well. I don't know, this one's hard to describe. It's really unique to my collection, but I think that one is like absolutely gorgeous. And this one is kind of like a yellow, green, gold, and this one is called Magic Trick. So this one I actually have on my inner corners of my eye. I don't know if you can still see it. I've literally been wearing this all day, but you probably might be able to. I'm not sure if it's showing on camera, but it's beautiful. And it's this shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna wipe that finger off and we'll take a little bit. So there it is right there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a yellowy green gold, which is really, really popular right now. So. It's a really beautiful shade, look at that one. So it's that shade right there. Absolutely friggin' gorgeous. Like, I love these, they're so, so good. And the shadows kind of range different in price depending on what finish you get. I think the smaller pans start at around six, $6 or so. Now that is Canadian, so it may be a little bit different in the States. Like I'm thinking it starts around the $5 mark. Um, and then it goes up, I think up to about 40, about $50 or so, depending on if you get a bundle. Um, and then some of the finishes are a little bit more. They start around $10 or maybe $8 US. So there is a bit of a fluctuation in pricing, but like I said, I will link their shop down below so you can check that out. So we're gonna move right along to the next shade. So this one is called Argyle Pink. So this is a really kind of light pinky toned shade. And it has a little bit of like silver, I think, fleck to it as well. This one's so pretty. This is beautiful if you wanna do like a like really light cut crease. So that is that shade right there. That is Argyle Pink. Really pretty, beautiful. And then the last shade I'm gonna show you is called Lit. This is a favorite of mine too. This is kind of like a taupey shade, like more, more of a cool toned shade. I actually like cool toned shadows and warm toned shadows, so I think it's absolutely stunning. And I'll show you that one. So that one is the one obviously on the very end of my arm, so it's this one here. 
really really pretty so these are all just like that's all the shades like look how gorgeous they are so I think those are all absolutely stunning like I really really love them I think the formula is really good on them as well like I said while I was explaining kind of swatching them like I think you would really enjoy these and it's really nice to kind of support more of an independently owned brand um, that someone that's actually making these herself which is pretty amazing because I think that she has quite a few followers on Instagram so I'm sure she gets tons of orders now I did want to show you as well the highlighter this is in the 44 mil pan so this is what this one looks like beautiful beautiful so this one I'll do a little swatch of this as well Ooh, that one is so look at that look at that it's so so beautiful so I'm actually gonna take my BH cosmetics brush and I'm just gonna apply just a little bit so you can see how much comes off on the brush like that's just me tapping that in there and we'll go ahead and we'll just put a little bit on like you can see that as I'm applying oh it's just so gorgeous I love it so much it's such a pretty such a pretty shade why not just add like a little bit more to my nose a little bit more to my chin area as well and we'll add a little bit more to this side Ooh. Look at that. It's just such a pretty, pretty highlighter. Like, oh, I want to get more of these. There's so many different variations, too, of these highlighters. So this is just the one that I happen to have. But there are tons of shades, very in inclusive shades as well. So there's deeper shades, medium tone shades, lighter shades, shades for people that are more on the fair side. So you could definitely get a shade. So I definitely would recommend these highlighters as well because I think they are stunning. I haven't tried their liquid highlighters, but I really would like to because they do have liquid highlighters as well. I just tend to go more for, I guess, powder highlighters. So that's why I went ahead and got this one. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. That was all the swatches of the shades that I bought. Like I said, I did get the chrome collection, but there are foil collections as well that are more like this one up here which is one of my favorite shades um, all of the shades are more metallicized so do keep that in mind um, they do ship to canada but it is a little bit more i think i paid around maybe 15 dollars, and it does depend on what you order um, you can also order in the states and it's a little bit less expensive but you have the option um, to order in canada if you are located in canada like myself um, i do think this is a really great brand the pricing is decent on these shadows as well as well as the highlighters so I'd highly recommend checking them out as I said I'll link everything down below for you guys but that's actually going to do it for this video today if you did like it make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below I would love for you guys to join my YouTube family but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys